I don't know if you can see that too much. Waiting for it to pop up. Using my old laptop, it's incredibly slow. But thank goodness I have it, right? Since my new laptop, the hard drive crashed. So, there it is. Can you see it? So, I am going to make that and cut it on my Cricut. It's going to be a vinyl decal and it's going to go on the back window of Black Betty. Bam -a lam Whoa, Black Betty, bam -a lam I know, you needed to hear that. So, anyway, that there it is, and I'll show you the next step. So, I am using white vinyl and my decal is about 11 and a half inches long and four and a half inches wide. So I've got my little cutter here which saves a lot of space. I gotta figure out where one, two, three, four. Or I don't waste as much when I cut it like this. But there is no measure. So instead of measuring it I'm gonna guesstimate. And then cut a piece off. This way I don't have so much trash. Trash vinyl, scrap vinyl, whatever you want to call it. So this is the piece I'm going to use. So this is the mat that I will put this on. I will line it up like that and then slide it in there. But first there is a backing or not backing but fronting or whatever you want to call it so it's a bit sticky so I'm gonna put it up here at the top make sure it's straight with my lines and for some reason it's not straight let's do it this way straight either what the hell it is straight okay so then I slide it in here push the button to load now I'll come back to my laptop and I am going to click on make it. Now the laptop is reading what I've got in there. And then I hit continue. And it reads what machine I have. The Maker 7 apparently is what I've got. <laughs> Now it's setting my material, so you, whether you're using like fabric, vinyl, uh, wood, metal, come on, load. Again, it's a slow computer. Come on. Okay, the finally loaded. So what I'm gonna click on is vinyl. And then, then I will hit the button to make it go.
Okay, we're done. So I'm gonna unload. Take this off of here. And put my cover back on. Now, inside or outside, you're gonna wanna do this, but I'm outside, so I wanna do it like immediately. So things don't get all over my board. Okay, so. Now that I've got this out, this is called a weeding tool. And weeding is taking all the space around what I'm doing off. So, it's almost like a dental, a dental tool almost. <laughs> so, get you over here so you can see this. I know it's white on white, so it's going to be hard for you to see. And I am so sweaty. It's so humid. Try not to get my sweaty hands all over this stuff. Keep the neighborhood cats out of my trailer since I'm sitting here with my door open. And he walked on by, thank goodness, because I'm not in a point where I could get up and chase him off. Okay, so there's that one. Can you see that? So now I'm going to take this and go in and get all the the inner pieces out, like you know, out of the loops, like out of the A and the O, and or no, there's not any O's, but you know what I mean. The L's. Because it's cursive, there's lots of loops. See, and I cut too much space, so I wasted all this space down here. I could have used that vinyl for something else, but I'll get better at that. I'm trying not to get my sweaty skin on this paper. Doing this outside might not have been a great idea. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So Bama Lamb's done. A uh, little piece right here in the B of black. Now you can get, you know, if I had my own little workspace, which someday I hope to have, I could get one of those square tissue boxes. And when it's empty, I could use an empty square tissue box to like shove all these pieces in and then just fill it up. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. It's just one of those crafty hacks. And you can do that with a lot of crafts. Scrapbooking, sewing, you know, just something to throw your your little pieces in that you know is trash. Okay, so there we go. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Black Betty Bama Lamb. Okay, so now okay, so now I've got contact paper. Now, there is, Cricut has contact paper, but what I've found so far is that using the Cricut paper, it's really strong grip, and that's what um, messed up my last one. So I got this at the dollar store down the road, and it's just contact paper. That's all it is. It's clear contact paper. 
so what happens is, oh, where's my scissors? Scissors, where's my scissors? There's my scissors. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cut a piece big enough to cover this. So I'm going to cut it about right here. It doesn't have to be a perfect cut. Drain it. The more perfect your cut, the less you waste. But this is too big for my little paper cutter. Or too wide. So this was a dollar twenty-five a roll at the dollar store. There's a crazy dollar down the road, but it works great. Comes off easy, and so on and so forth. So what happens is there's a clear backing right here, and then you got the paper. So you want to take the paper off carefully and put this clear oh come on yes if I can get it started there it goes so ideally you don't want it curly you want to do like start like this but this being so curly I don't know how well this is gonna work this does not have to go on perfect there, see now I got it all over there. Cut it. Nope, that ain't gonna work. You have to actually cut it all the way. So what happens is I'm just pressing it down on my vinyl. So what happens is, I'm going to pull this paper off, and my vinyl is going to stick to the clear, and then it's going to go on my window. So let me get the window ready. Definitely clean the window. You don't want any junk up there getting underneath your vinyl. So I'm going to put it right there, which I see I'm going to have to move my camera to get that. Okay, I'm sure there is more professional ways to do this, but this is the way I'm doing it. It's going to go right there. So, taking my backing off. Is going right there. Right there. Got my tool. Or you can use a credit card. You want to see a little closer? There you go, Black Betty, bam a lamb. Oh, Black Betty, bam a lamb. Okay. So I've got I've got these two tools and I'm gonna start pulling it off. See how it's staying? So as long as you go slow and pull it, you know, almost fold it all the way over as you're pulling it off.
Ta-da! Like, back Betty has been tagged. Not bad. Not bad for a white girl, huh? <laughs> okay, so there she is. Black Betty, bam and lamb. There you go.